This is a video from the Technology Training Team, a department of the Prince George's County Public Schools IT Division. Today we're going to show students how to change their password using the Oracle Identity Management System, or IDM. But first, let's talk about choosing a secure password. In this digital age, protecting your online identity is more important than ever. With that in mind, these are the password rules Prince George's County Public Schools enforces for students. Passwords must be at least eight characters. Passwords must have at least one letter and one number. Passwords must not contain the student's actual name or their username. The new password must not be similar to the previous password. Okay, so you've got your new secure password in mind? Then let's get started. Open a web browser and go to idm.pgcps.org. Enter your username and your password. If this is the beginning of the school year, you should have received this information from your homeroom teacher. Click Sign In. The first time you log in, you must select and answer three challenge questions. If you ever forget your password, you will be able to reset it automatically by answering these questions correctly. Make sure the answers are things you will remember, but that not many people know about you. When you are ready, click Submit. You are taken to the Identity Self-Service page. Now that you've set your challenge questions, the next time you log in, you will be taken immediately to this page. If you are using the default password given to you by the school, it is recommended that you change it to something different that fits the password requirements discussed earlier in this video. To do so, click the My Information button. Scroll down and click the Change Password triangle. Enter your current password, as before, enter your new password and wait until it has been safely encrypted. Now add your new password a second time just as we did before. Click Apply. If for some reason the Apply button is not green, click somewhere else on the same page. The button should turn green then and allow you to apply the change to your password. And that's it! Your new password is set. Now you need to make sure it stays secure. Remember, never share your password with other people. If you have your password written down, keep it somewhere safe and never leave it out where others can find it. If you are using a shared computer, always remember to log out. This has been another production from the Technology Training Team. Thanks for watching.